that was your opportunity. This opportunity, I call you out. I call you out, China. You are the reason why on the YouTube streets, they call me a transfusion participant in my PR language. You are the catalyst of this information. You brought this news to the dirty section, the dark side. So I call you on it because we did deal with it on screen. You dissed me. You cut me off. You gave me 20 minutes of exposure until I said I wasn't blood. Then you was like, you know what? He had new he ain't claiming fuck him. I ain't got to talk about him. But you could talk for a nice long time and use that clickbait to slander my name. I challenge your whole channel. Anybody, y'all, uh, all those that follow Chinky did so in believing that Big Network had valid proof. Yet, fans of O50, you probably don't care, and that's cool because right now I can stay in the background and not be a fan favorite. I'm fine with that. Yet later when y'all find out the ghetto star shines a little bright. It'll be a time where I bring the story back up and say, can y'all go over there and find out if this guy can bring any of these things up that he spotlight for the world and possibly got a little bit of rep belief on 050 movement by using my name those many years ago. Because you know, three years ago, he was not popping. Four years ago, he was not popping. He was growing. CK's boy. And you know how many fights I had with CK four years ago, five years ago. <laughs> Fuck it. Might even been six years ago, seven years ago. And you know, that's trying to bring friends. And trying to Brim was a puppy coming up when CK was doing this thing. You know, CK was the talk of this Corey 212 with Corey King. So, of course, you had a lot of people that wanted to, you know, get on bandwagons, opportunities. And I can see the link. Oh, shit, CK and Pimp going at it. Hold up, quell down with CK. Hold up, you know, because that's how that story started on YouTube as well. Those were the greatest two founders, yet that's a whole nother other. This particular individual is a person that gets on his platform. He says, what are you doing with a homo? I mean, bro, you the one that broke the story with no proof. See, you playing the story right now in 2024 for a fan base that don't really know in 2019 or 20. What the fuck you talk about? Only thing I did is talk about him. It was just there. You didn't try and talk and find nothing out because you didn't have none. But here's the kicker though, China Brim. I have your phone number or the one you had back then. And remember when you did do your research, due diligence, you kept it official behind closed doors to me. Yeah, you kept it behind closed doors to me. You let it be known. That homegirl, when you contacted her, was like, oh, 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 no. This page wasn't done by me. My, sh it, it had to been hacked. And he says, she says she had no dealing with you doing no Red Dragon shit. So you never had nobody to come forward with this. So you know it was a sabotage inside y'all that you said, fuck it, cause that is also another channel you tag, YouTube Bloods. And those YouTube bloods is the one that broke the story on YouTube in a little bit, pardon me, 
those that heard that story was broken on IG. A little bit of it. And that little segment that they have on YouTube, Bloods Go, right now after you hear this. They don't have no proof either. Um, the difference between a person coming later on like this and saying back then they had no proof is I have all the proof. So I challenge you to come out. I have the text, you know, our communication, China, bitch. And that's only because you dragging the story when you know you found out a lot of this shit is false. Hold up. What makes your friendship with these people so strong that you will violate just to violate, bro? Because we ain't going to never bump. Because this ain't real. It's just content. I should understand that you could introduce your life to me. False? Let me smoke something real quick. Let that shit sink in, people. And if I ain't got about a quick 30 likes from anybody in the building, y'all violate and get my likes up because it's like kind of waste of time doing this YouTube shit. Like, say right now I could have been doing something I like doing. And this is something I feel that uh, it helps me with the public. It helps me generate a plan that I have lined up. Yet, I really have to do it. It's outside. You see the weather. It's early in the week. You know, certain things ain't even lined up. Finished off the weekend, getting prepared for a new weekend. And you got individuals like the O-Ho-O movement and say they're a movement that's only moving their pocketbooks, their possible status quo. Yet maybe home, they're now participating in a higher role. So they go even harder on these YouTube pages to make men's eat. Now... I always was stubborn and nah, I'm too proud to do all that. Nah, nah. Oh, fuck no. I'm not going to make gimmicks for money. I'm going to come up here and change the narrative. You see the limited yelling on this? Like, I really want to be in here and just be like, bullshit! Yeah, for what? I get hype over here and I'm not trying to be one of those characters for the people on social media because this is what this is I am man enough to say that as an OG I learned from a young OG today you said something so important you keep talking about the past that means you have no future your present is limited is lack thereof fuck the past because I know that I came out of something to make it and still be here. Yet China, the topic is only to show you that like a man, I could come and discuss this. Smooth adult. I'm older than you, you little guy. Know what I'm saying? Um, And that's cool if it helps your brand. Yeah, you raising like drops on YouTube to give out cleat sauce. Dudes with reps, with buttholes, with 17 piece luggages that slide in with room. I don't know, no diddy. It just was on the blocks, cell blocks, not the streets. The streets he hiding, like 315. It's his, you know. You see how you ain't even see me no more. That's his low spot. You doing your life out there too. You limited. You know how you do it too, Brooklyn boy. All that out of town behavior y'all had. Yeah. If you can jump on in and put your two cents in because you mad. Oh. Stutter Diamonds told me to tell you specifically. He's only talking on a good D A G U D, the bad D A B A D, the ugly. D-A-U-G-L-E The name of the title of the Google, the booger, the don't understand what the fuck it say He said he only gonna talk on that show So if you would like To speak to him You can call in Cause I don't even wanna see your face next to me I'm not gonna do no What's that thing? 
um, stream yard. I'm not connecting no Hollywood squares until you apologize. Because I challenge you. I bet you had no proof to show the people. You can call me a homo. You can talk that shit. Why you want to play like, yo, P went up in that house and shot niggas. But I bet you when he came back to population, he still shot niggas. You wouldn't have said nothing. I apologize for when I got caught up in the past. You see, I got violently with the linger and I was all indignant, ignorant. Nah, I mean. If you do the challenge, China, we can have some fun. Because then when you apologize, like, yo, my bad. On this situation, transfusion, duh. That's a whole lie. Somebody plays you. I can see, bro. Where go from there? I can interact with you. See, I'm not like the salute to bad few. I'm not like how Deb Anthony said it. Sometimes needed, like. The hump get over and the understanding and bonding with me, Shaquel. The hump get over the bonding with me and CK. For those that know not. Yet when Deb Anthony broke down, Bemi's sister, big sister, she broke down. She could do business with people she don't like. Fuck to the N N O O. You get get? Um I don't even say your name like that. I don't even do too much shot. But the only reason why I shoot is this topic. It's just good enough to go to you. Because I salute you saying my name. I would like to show Mikey bitch how much of a whore he's still getting slutted and manipulated by you. You spoke about, yeah, go to Mikey B. Mikey B, he's not known for that. He's hood love. So he really was like, yeah, roundabout, they're fine. But he wasn't trying to plug you in. Yo, Mikey, stop being a whole show. They use you, bro. He from Brooklyn. He don't give a F about no barrel. So be outcast and be the only thing repping 315 on YouTube. Because them boys out there and them people out there ain't really having, you know what I'm saying, a keepsake with that. Because um, you do limited showings like all those little clippings you did <laughs> showing people the other day because I'm gonna watch to see where you at you say all these little corny things while you trying to talk about change this is how you tell people to change this is your message you think this is the way you oh oh I ask questions now I got statements to say you believe that in Syracuse way of Giving that message is the way they gonna hear this shit in New York. Excuse my language, cause um, this ain't how you give that credible messenger message to individuals are leaving the gang life alone. See, you had to be in the gang life for real. See, you was in it. The number of years just say you was there. Yet, you don't even want to talk about why Mac Murder is talking about you had a two liter in your bun buns. Paul. We talking about room. I don't know how much the equipment was in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the workout area. Yet figure four, you tap in. If it's that conversation, oh my god, you tap in. If it's something that stood up Diamond said about you, why didn't you play the rest of the part on your show? Show the rest of your fans that he said six months you was in your cell. Now let's get this together, people. This 2017. Now, just for, you know, I'm saying, you know, I, I'm just keeping it real. You gave him the hood. Am I right? Like, when you got kicked out and had too many issues coming, you had to show faith, like, all right, I'm done. All right, I'm going to leave to you. You said, huh, stutter. Right? Two way street with this question. One time the other day you told me you took the name of the hood with you. Yet on another answer you say you gave the hood to stutter down, right? Alright. The same thing is if you gave this man the hood, why didn't you want to come outside and check him like, yo, Queens, let me holler at you. Now don't get it messed up. Limiting how to talk. Limiting what you really should be 
putting on if everything is right and exact. And with these is different blocks. So when you say they know you ain't in a block, it ain't like Attica. Wendy's help you go to a program so fast you get around everybody in every block. Yeah, you need this image because you're not in New York City. If you was in New York City, get busy. But it'd be individuals telling like, be easy. We could have been scrapped, see where you was at on. You know, for whatever reason, you trying to play P like this. Go ahead. Size up with those people. Yeah, they get money deals. Yeah, they got business-minded connections yet. You're only going to get a little money in one year and then the rest of the time you're going to be broke. Hopping like the hoods to another bro to get your life together. Oh, hopping from faking like you some type of community activist to really making the bones. Or getting on YouTube, letting the Sunshine Coalition know like... I'm down with the end of the gold pots and spread out like Caligula. You got it? You hurting more than helping. Where's the love in your hood? Why do you keep trying to get down with 050 when he don't care about you? Why don't you set up a meeting to get next to him? You want to show people about peace and love? Get next to him. We know you mean it. And you ain't sly foxing him. We know that you mean it. That you got peace with this whore. Because y'all both whores. She's a geisha whore. You know what I'm saying? You know how they got their orgies. That shit is like limited. That ain't even called orgies. That's called hospitality. We know how you get it in. You know, first it was you and Perb, then you switched it up and became the slut again. I think Perb turned you out. Perb salute for a Rockaway feeling. Yeah, it is what it does. If the hoe was a hoe, the hoe was a hoe. And you know, you accepted her way back then when you was a hunter. You know what I mean? You left that thing, say, I'm going to live my life. I got a bed to do. So, you know, maybe you need to talk about if you got slutted too, my guy. So just let me know. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? In China, I challenge you. If you have anything, proof that it was some trannies going on, prove it. I call you out. Put it on your show. Go back to your old show. You plug. Send all the connections out and get the tranny up here. Get the tranny that exposed me up here. Get those that exposed me threw you up here and I challenge you and then after this if it ain't nothing there throw in a white flag on that topic and we can meet each other until then I'm out and that's just the good side of me because the bad I ain't got it for my show I can miss views of money yet I won't have y'all stitch on my you know what I mean I ain't with this controversy Bitch calling all this gay things. You know how it is when dudes call you seven, four, five, ten, twenty years later. So what we doing? You gay? With that, I'm out, man. Have a blessed one.